We're coming up on the fifth anniversary of Sea of Thieves since its release in 2018. It's come a long way since launch, adding tons of quests, world events, and expanding the lore of the entire world. Rare even added a new mode called Arena, which <laughs> ultimately failed, and a Pirates of the Caribbean crossover which was huge for the game and caused an explosion of popularity. However, at the launch of the game, Rare made a decision that almost killed the game before any of this content ever got added. At launch, Sea of Thieves was super bare bones. The only world event at the time was the base Skull Fort. We didn't even have the Brigantine, Harpoons, or an inventory screen. It consisted of nothing more than the three main factions with only one quest type for each. Now, sure, Pirate Legend and Athena's Fortune were in the game, but nobody was PL yet and wouldn't be for quite some time. Despite all this, the game was new and players were still enjoying this new world to play in. That is, until Rare announced their plans to institute a death cost. Yes, you heard that right. They were planning on making players lose gold to pay the ferryman on each death. This cost would also vary depending on how you died. This, understandably, sent players into an uproar. The forums were inundated with posts calling for Rare to reverse this change. You've got to remember, at launch, gold was hard to come by. There was less loot to collect, emissary bonuses didn't exist yet, and some cosmetics were more expensive than they are today. Even something like stealing a single stronghold skull and swimming across the map to turn it in was Reddit post-worthy. So adding a death cost onto that in a time where pretty much everyone was horrible at the game was a recipe for disaster. Now, I know I primarily focus on videos related to PvP, but I really do think this all ties together. To me, this was the first step Rare made to making Sea of Thieves more casual friendly. It's clear their original vision for the game was something much more hardcore and sandbox focused than the lore adventure centric content we have today. At launch, the core experience of the game wasn't the quests or the gold, it was the interactions with other players in a new and beautiful shared world. While I agree the death cost would have been a pretty bad idea, especially considering all the server issues we have nowadays, I think the devs have strayed pretty far from that original ethos since then. However, I would be extremely interested to see where the game would be today if the community had encouraged that more hardcore playstyle from the start. I suspect it would be a much different game than we know today. If you want to get an even better idea of what Sea of Thieves was like at launch compared to today and how much different PvP really was, be sure to check out my video or just come stop by the stream and say what's up. In the end, Rare nixed the death cost idea after community feedback. Players were mostly worried about losing all their gold due to people spawn killing them at every turn. However, it actually turned out Rare never intended to have the death cost apply to PvP related deaths. They just completely botched their original messaging on the mechanic and it was too late to change the minds of the players. This whole fiasco was such a controversy, most major video game outlets picked up the story and lit the fire even more. I believe this not only led to Rare learning a hard lesson on community messaging, but completely changed the devs approach to the game which is what made it so special in the first place. Like I said, I agree the death cost would have been disastrous for the game, but what do you think? Do you think this changed Rare's approach to the game moving forward and made them more afraid to make any meaningful risky changes? Let me know in the comments. Make sure you're subscribed for all Sea of Thieves news and PvP related updates, and be sure to check out my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash blurbs, where I give away exclusive in-game items every Wednesday. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video.